Do you remember these days when MSFS 2024 just released and we all got stuck in the loading screen? Then a day or two later we finally got in, only to find this ugly handlebar which just showed up with every mouse movement and ruined our screenshots. Coming from MSFS 2020 where the toolbar problem was all fixed by this add-on which has over 62,000 downloads, this was indeed a problem, especially because the 2020 add-on was simply not compatible with 2024. Then a month later a developer by the name of Hecklack finally got a fix for it and made almost 9,000 people happy. I personally still had a problem with it though because sometimes I simply couldn't reach some buttons and switches as you can see right here. The toolbar was still just too big. Now ladies and gentlemen let me introduce you to an even better solution. This developer by the name of Ocelada made this toolbar even smaller. Not only that he moved it to the top of the screen, which in my opinion is just perfect. I can finally press that APU fire button. Yeah, I know, first world problems here. One downside though, it's not working with the Sim Update 3 yet. And because the Sim Update 3 is still in beta, I'm pretty sure that this will be fixed as soon as it officially releases. So, what do you think about this add on? Did you try it? Do you like it? Let me know your opinions in the comments. And of course, I will put the links to these add ons in the description. Oh, and by the way, we just hit 1000 subscribers. That is the first big milestone for this channel and honestly, it wouldn't have happened without you guys. So thank you very, very much, really. We're just getting started here. There's gonna be plenty more videos coming. And if you want to follow along for what's next, make sure you are subscribed. I am planning on doing this video format frequently whenever I find add-ons that are worth mentioning. Do you like this format? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much, have a good day and as always, happy flying!